And our big story right now at 6, investigators are still on the hunt for a bank robber after a bank in Tillman's Corner was hit. It happened at opening time about 9 o'clock this morning at the Hancock Bank on Rangeline Road. The bank robber got away, forcing police to lock down the bank and the nearby Walmart. Tonight, police are hoping someone will recognize him. Local 15's Taryn Reed joins us now live. Taryn, they do have some surveillance pictures, and the suspect has a distinguishing feature, doesn't he? Yes, he does, Greg. This is a surveillance picture of that suspect. Police say he is a white male believed to be in his 60s with a mustache that curls up on the sides. Now, I talked to folks moments after that bank robbery. One woman didn't even want to go inside the bank. I'm very scared. I'm not going in there now. You're not going to go in? <laughs> no. Gwen McCaskin sat in her car hours after the bank robbery, debating whether or not she should go in. Her final decision, no. Because, uh, uh, you know, it could happen again while I'm in there. Mobile police tell me a man walked into this bank and demanded money from a teller. They haven't yet said how he asked for the money. That's part of the investigation. And officials aren't sure if the suspect is armed. That's what led to lockdowns at the bank and Walmart behind it. Officers got in the area and businesses were temporarily placed on lockdown due to the safety of the community. But they are combing through evidence, mainly security footage. Investigators are watching video from the bank and surrounding businesses. Officers have then since spread it out the canvas and we are still in the area. Less than two hours after the robbery, it was back to business as usual at Hancock Bank. Customers I talked with had no idea that just hours before, the bank had been robbed. Uh, that's kind of scary, to be honest. And, and, and they didn't say anything. They kind of acted normal in there. Mitchell Rivette was only inside for a few minutes. He says quick jobs like this one remind him to stay cautious. Most definitely, and just these days in general with the, with the technology and online and social medias and all of it. Again, Mobile Police are looking for a white male believed to be in his 60s. He was wearing a blue shirt and a white hat at the time of the robbery. If you have any information that could help police solve this crime, give them a call. Live in Tillman's Corner, Taryn Reed, Local 15 News. Taryn, thanks. Charges.